Yeah, sometimes the real message lies within the titles that I post of my videos. So, I want to summarize uh, summarize it all on my videos. And then I'm going to start on something new for this year, uh, next year. All my videos are summarizing this message. Unity, family. Strategy and organization. Those all that's all what we need to be free and to rule our own destiny. We don't need nothing else. Right now we in a state of uh, chaos because you can see that <clears throat> there are those who are trying to cover their tracks so they're confusing a whole lot of their brothers and sisters so I was hoping that I could turn some of the brothers uh, away but it don't don't seem like that's gonna work so all you brothers who and sisters who don't listen to me you'll be fuel for the fire that's about to come you've been being warned and warned and warned and you're gonna be like Pharaoh being covered by the Red Sea you're going to be like Sodom and Gomorrah. Fireballs all upside your head. Uh, brothers say this is the cleansing of the planet. Because they don't think that they need cleansing. You know, they, they in one frame of mind. You know, and can't see the whole picture the whole picture is this that we all are the, those that are sincere who got got a a uh Righteous heart, righteous motives, they're going to persevere. They, if you try to promote peace within your brothers and sisters, you know, the universe is going to smile on you and your offsprings. Those of you who are working for Satan, you're going to be like Judas. You're going to hang your own self. Commit suicide. Those of you who uh, want to be like Jesus, ain't nothing wrong with it. I don't care who don't believe that's a Jesus. He wasn't an evil person to try to be like. He was a noble guy fighting for his people. So no matter if he's real or not, his disposition and his uh, behavior was righteous. But one thing you gotta know, he didn't never say he was coming back. Well, you ain't gotta go nowhere but in the Bible to see where he say he ain't coming back. You know? 
And but ain't nothing wrong with it. Believing in or trying to be like Christ. Which really wasn't his last name, but that's a title. But uh, if you're a Christian, you 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 Christ-like. You know, those Hebrew Israelites, you know, to me, you know, action speaks louder than words. And if y'all the real deal, then let me see, let me see your works. Judge a tree by the fruit, and uh, the brothers that uh, su su subscribe to me, peace and blessings to you. Keep listening, but what I want you to do is be a, a leader, a leader in your own uh, circle. I'm not no leader. I'm just a counselor. And I'm not going to play that leadership role. I'm not, I'm not a teacher. I'm just a counselor. And what I be doing is I be comparing uh, in the scripts, in the scriptures, ancient scriptures, of what's happening now. So we can get out of this uh, it's getting ready to come down on us and start doing for self. You got to do for self on a large scale and on a small scale. The individual got to do for self and the community got to do for self. Even if you don't want to be a nation, an a, a all black nation, you still got to do for self because the government is corrupt. You got to divide yourself from this government. And I don't care what you call yourself. And I'm not the only righteous brother. I'm not even righteous. I'm just trying to be. This is something I practice. If you ask me what my religion is, you know, my religion is the religion of, religion of life. You ask me where, where do I go to practice this religion in the temple of living? You say, well, who, who is your God? I say, the Most High. They say, where is he at? Is he in the sky? I say, no, sir. He's in me. You say, where at in you? In the highest part of myself. Well, I can't sing. Well, I can sing every time I look in the mirror. And I see him in you too, my brother. Because you're the only reflection of myself. And you too, my sister, the only reflection of myself. And if you got children, you're a counselor, or your, or your babies, and you're an elder to your offsprings, and to your younger nieces and nephews and cousins. And you counsel them in the right direction. And every time you tell them about Santa Claus, and every time you tell them Jesus rose and went up in the sky, you're lying to them. And every time you tell them that when you die you're gonna go to heaven, you're lying to them. You don't know what, what's gonna happen after you're dead. Heaven and hell is a, a state of mind, a condition. And when you die, that don't mean physically, it mean mentally. 
You're mentally dead right now. Because you're not rising. At this stage, on the planet Earth, we're supposed to be healing, healing people by touching them. We're supposed to be talking to people through mental telepathy. You're supposed to be able to see through walls. You're supposed to be having uh, out-of-body experiences going to other planets. Because our mind is the whole universe. Because when we were when we were sperms, we didn't have a brain. So we must have had a mind. So I mean, you know, I I'm not a preacher or nothing. That's just common sense right there. You know, what I'm saying is common sense. Not nothing deep. That's, a, that's what Jesus was telling you. See, when you see me, you see the Father. You know? And when I tell you don't fall in love with that fiat currency, Jesus was telling the, the uh, rich man, the young rich man, uh, it's, it's easy, it's uh, more easier for one to go through an eye of a, of a needle than to, for a rich man to, to uh, give up all his riches and wealth because that's his God. So you your own God. And if I don't never come back on this YouTube again, remember what I'm telling you today. You know, I don't depend on nobody else but myself. I'm a solo soldier. My mind, myself. My mind dictates to my body. And my body manufactures what's in my mind. My hands manufacture what's in my mind. That's all you need to know. And black people know this, that we are melanated people. We special. The Caucasian, he's our children. He comes from us. He's like a one runaway child on the wild. He's the only lower part of us. So we are, we family. But him, he like a red-headed stepchild. And what? There's no hope for him. It is some hope. But we don't know if he's going to grab it or not. So we got to look out for ourselves and come together in unity. Because somebody trying to kill us. This is uh, peace. I might come back with one more. We'll see.